So we're on another treasure hunting adventure, this time with Bryce. Bryce has fantastic land. I've found so much good stuff with him. And we're out today on a field here. All that field, all the way down there. So we should be able to get that done in about an hour. Not. So it's probably about a week's worth of detecting there. But it's never been detected. There's got a spring on it. Could be fantastic. Nobody knows. No one's ever done it. We're the first. Yay! It's blowing a gale, but it's going to be hot. So blowing a gale's fine by me. But apologies for the... If there is any. First one of the day, a little bag seal. Good start. Carl's there. It's always by the car. Rabbit paradise. Salad, as far as the eye can see. It's going to be a modern coin, but don't know what it is. It's in the clod. There's a little flash of gold, which is probably copper. And it's a black coin, which isn't silver. So it's probably just a little copper coin, but let's have a look. So there she blows. Oh, little one. It might be a button. But it's ringing up at 90, which is not a button. No, it's not a button. So that's unusual, but because I don't treasure hunt in this soil, I can't really tell what the coin is because the soil makes a big difference to how they come out of the ground. It's probably just a den here, but it could be Roman. We'll find out later. It's quite thick, but that could be just earth for the moment. So we'll clean it up and see. So Bryce is casting his expert spittle, I mean expert eye, <laughs> over the pine. It's quite thick, so yeah. I've got hopes for it, but we don't know yet. I think it's a, a little liard. Too small uh, for a liard? Yeah, some kind of liard from the Middle Ages. You have some liard. Oh dear, it's from the Middle Ages? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure it's Roman. No, I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. But it, it's thick, you see? Yeah, yeah. That's not hammered. That's not hammered copper mm. thick. Mm. 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 <laughs> we'll see after you. Everything's beginning. silver and everything's Roman <laughs> until I get it home and find out someone dropped it yet last week. <laughs> but yeah, and a good start. Good start. And you've yeah. got a little ring. Yeah, another ring. I don't know. Celtic nose ring. Oh, that's a square. That's a square ring. No. Yeah. Modern. 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 But anyway, you've only been on for one minute and I've been on for 20, so. So there's going to be a whole Roman villa here, gold yeah. coins everywhere. I mustn't say gold coins everywhere. That's what everybody does, and it's boring because then you never find any. You know, if you're going to talk about gold coins, find a gold coin. Yeah, if you're going to talk about silver coins, find one. So, no, lots of copper coins around here. And we will find those. Yay! So, five minutes later, a double tournoir. And I wonder if these are going to have any details on, because the soil is thick on them, and that often is a good sign, because the corrosion and the mud kind of stick. So when it's moving around in the soil, it doesn't erode so fast. Hey, good one. So this double tournoir came out the same hole. So I'm getting excited now. This is my excited face. Because two in a hole? Only two in a hole? Doesn't seem likely. A horde in a hole? All right, that's not very likely either. But we will see in about 15 seconds time. Very rare to get two in a hole. Teamwork here. This is that's where we got the two from, and we just got another one here, which is like a, a baby version of that one. It's a one, and they were two. Uh, you know, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure when they're cleaned up, it might tell a different story. Because see, that's 
To me, that's too thick. That's too thick for a hammered. That's a Roman. That, I'm sorry, that is a Roman. And it's a Roman until proved otherwise. And no one else is going to prove otherwise, so it's a Roman. I think that's a Roman. You see? You see how thick that is? Oh, it's probably not. It's not a Roman. It's a single turn while, but that's pretty good anyway. Well, a bit of stuff. Could be something, could be nothing. Goes in the pocket. Because when you clean these things up, it can either be a piece of junk or it can have a flaming dragon on it. Or something weird like that. And you go, wow, that's an amazing thing. But you never know until you clean it up. Lump of lead. So Bryce has got a lovely coin down here that just came out of the clod. I couldn't stop him from tearing it to pieces to get at the treasure. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is. Is that a doos on? Liard. Probably not a doos on. Liard. I'm not sure about your Liard theory. Mind you, they're coming out the soil different from what I'm used to, you see. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, I think these things are silver and they're always Liards. Sorry. That's okay. Give it to me before you reprogram it entirely. I've already reprogrammed it. Oh, no. <laughs> Liard de France. Trayvon. So that's sort of 1650, yeah? Yeah. Nice one. We kept those. You got one now. So there's a little double turnoir. Coins coming thick and fast. We've got all that to go for. And that feels really, really, really old to me. Really old. So won't be anything on it. So we found this together. Because Bryce is a digging machine in comparison with me. And this is, I don't know... I don't know. It looks like it's got something on it. Definitely something there. Yeah, it looks like a tag somewhat, somehow. But it's got writing there. It says, I, Julius Caesar, hereby donate to the gods this pendant. According to my Latin, anyway. I located this treasure, Bryce dug it, and I'm giving it to him out of the goodness of my heart. It's yours, Bryce. Thank you. So generous. I know, I just can't help myself. Thank you so much. <laughs> and this is going to be a thimble, or what's left of one. You see, it's got a hit here. But you can see... Oh, maybe not. A thimble? It's... It's a something. I would say that's a thimble. It's like it would be a thimble, topless thimble, but it might actually be something else. Some unusual decorations, what look like unusual decorations around that. So it could be just a jacket on something, but we'll find out later. Like that, like that a lot. Thought it was a coin. Then I thought it was a shotgun end, and then I realised it's a button. I first went on this side of the field, and I think that would be Bonanza, because back in the day that would be the most fertile soil, and that's where they would have really been farming hard. And up there is a castle, which is not really rare for France, but it's nice to have nearby where you're detecting. Stocking, stroke, brace, clip. Bryce is catching up with me with this double turn wire. So it could be a bit of a coin or a bit of a button. I think actually it's probably a bit of a coin. Hmm, interesting. Now caught up with me and he's got another double turn while i've been going down the wrong side of the field where there's absolutely nothing no rubbish no nothing no zero zero nothing so but this side seems to have some stuff on it and that's going to be nice oh yeah it's got a pattern on that one yep. oh yeah
It's mine now. Yeah, it's got a nice pattern on it. Well, it, it will do. I think that will. You'll get something off that one. Nice. Yay! Bryce, that looks interesting. That looks like a very odd lump there. Oh, sure, you've got to unwrap it, sure. Oh, right, I'll unwrap it. I'll unwrap it. That's that. It. That is a very interestingly unwrappable edge. Let me get it on camera. Let me not get too excited. Oh, oh, oh. You got You. You got It's a. Ah. <laughs> it's a nice buckle. Yeah. Very nice buckle. Broken. A very nice broken buckle. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Instead, we've got half a late medieval buckle, or rather, Bryce has. Well done, Bryce. Nice, nice one. He's been getting everything. He's found like seven <laughs> things. I haven't found it's anything. My, it's my turn now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's your turn now. You're on fire. <laughs> now I think this is a part of a Hot Wheels car, but Bryce thinks it's part of a Roman brooch, and he could be right. Do you want to have a look? You do? Okay, let's see it. And this was right by that buckle, which was not Roman, but this would be the top, and there would be a spring around there, and this would be like the tail, that's the bit, and there'd be a pin behind it, that would be the general idea. And that's exactly what it would look like if you have a bit of imagination. Um, or really, in our case, a huge amount of imagination. But it's certainly not a hot wheels car. Is that some pattern there? Is that a little bit of pattern yeah. there? Yeah. going on there? Yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's, if I'd found it, I'd say it's silver and a Roman brooch, without a doubt, I'd say that. I'd be wrong about the silver part, but I would say that that's, yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be Roman, yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be. <laughs> Congratulations, he's getting it all, he's on fire. Bryce has been digging the Eurostar tunnel, and he's struck iron, and he thinks it's a horseshoe, it's a mighty horseshoe if it is. It's a mighty horseshoe. <laughs> that is a mighty horseshoe. Wow. I hope it would give me luck. <laughs> well, you have to hold it the right way up, but yeah. That is that is a real plough plow horse, that is. Yeah, massive horse that would have come off of. Yeah. Huge. But the war horses were often farm horses. Yeah. And, you know, to, to pull a pull a, a plough, you, you could carry a man with a hundred weight of armour on him. Yeah. Nice one. I'm not carrying it. <laughs> Determination there. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to do a live dig on this one because I think it's a coin. And if I start to fall over and crumble under the effort, Bryce is going to finish it off for me, like a true friend. Finish me off. Finish me off. <sighs> now I think it's going to be quite deep. So, and it's actually quite hard soil. So go on, Bryce. Give it, give it some oomph. Yeah, it's hard down here. Do I see that come out? Okay. Hold on. That's no, out. <laughs> and it's in here. No hope. If you can find a brooch, you can find a coin. Nope. There it is. Yep. There. It's, a, uh, it's not a coin at all. It's a, it's a bit, bit of copper, bronze-ish thing. Put it a move. Well, oh, it's quite hard as well. It's not like a bendy bit of copper. That's the proud owner of some Roman jugs. That's the sort of thing that would have come off one. Now that's a nail there. So this is something that's nailed onto something. And this is the sharp bit that's going to stab me in the leg if I put it in my pocket. But it's not bendy at all. This is going in the pocket. This could be quite good. It could be rubbish. But that's a, a mount of some sort. I just found a lovely piece of Celtic ring money. Sorry, no, it's a spindle whirl, but a lovely spindle whirl. Look at that. Look how big that is. Gave a big R signal, as you might imagine. Pretty nice indeed.
So Bryce has just got a hammered V on, low grade silver to you. And yeah, that's the that H in the middle there. Stabbing myself with the dais, that's rather weird. So yeah, it's looking like it. So, well, you'd say, oh no, it's down here. Double turn one. Oh, I can see a little bit of a silver shine. Yeah. But I always can. And then I get them back and they're not silver at all. They're just a load of old copper. Yeah. But that definitely looks like it should be one of the things. He's getting them all. He's all tired. I started out with them all and he was looking green and now I'm gone completely puce. About time I found a coin. It's a little copper denier, very thin, hammered. Now it could be a billion because it's very, very, very thin and very bendy. Look at that. I can bend it. So it might not even be a coin, it might be I don't know what. But about time I found a coin. So I have. Hurrah! And while Bryce is massaging my not silver, not billion little denier, I'm playing with his musket shot. And I walk right over that one. Right over it. So we're gonna have a live dig, because after all there's two of us. So we can do these things without juggling. It's an 87, which means it's a big copper coin likely to be a Liard or a Napoleon Trois and it's deep so it's a gigantic elephant horseshoe Ooh. oh there we go Napoleon Trois yep. Apier, Aperu whatever the French word for Apier oh is that the idiot sir? yes I think so yeah 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 so this is obviously a big ass signal when you go over it, being highly conductive and massive, yes. and that's a 10 on teams. So that's probably, that would have been a $20 bill in its day. So you would be a little bit sad to lose that, and a little bit happy to find it. Good. Well done. Bryce, you're on fire. Yep. Finding them left, right, and centre. Now I have a fairly good idea what this is, but let's unwrap it together. Not a coin, is it? Looking like a buckle. Big old buckle, look at that. We're not gonna play with it anymore because I'll probably break the pin off it. And it's probably, it might not be iron. It probably is iron, but anyway, I really like these old iron buckles. I don't really know what to do with them because they don't really do so well out of uh, the ground and I often leave them behind bury them again but I'm gonna keep that one that's very nice well I've got a long way about finding anything but he is lovely see that tiny little buckle it's a really old buckle easily 1600s Now there is a big washing centre. It goes down into a, like a basement with tiles on it where everybody from the whole local community can come and wash their clothes. Well, I don't know where the local community is, frankly, but that's what it's for. That must come a long way to get there, to the laundrette. Very weird if you ask me. Oh, ha had lunch, what a silly boy. Now I wanna go to sleep. But anyway, spindle whirl, that woke me up. There you go, second in the world of the day. So, we got Thimble and two Spindle World so far. Well, I've had it. I've been out here about six hours now with Bryce. And it doesn't matter how great the site is or companionship, you just get too tired and I'm too tired. But I found something that's perked me up. Come and have a look. Now, I'm hopeful for that. What is that? So let's open it up, gently open it up 
and unpack it. It's got to be some sort of buckle, I would have thought. And there we are. <laughs> I thought it was a triangular thing, like a badge or a brooch, but actually, it's still nice. It's a buckle that's taken a bit of a banging. Well, another way of looking at it, it's a buckle that's buckled. Rather nice, that. Now, this is the last find of the day, and I think I'm going to have to learn how to fly, because the only way I'm going to get down this field, 100 yards, is to fly. So I'll be flapping my arms, because my legs won't do it, on the way back. Knowing that I just got nothing left to give to the sport, get a Leah. <laughs> oh, that's gonna almost fell over there, like you do. So, Liard de France, 1600s. Bryce has just found this tiny micro but buckle. And I don't even want to blow on it, but he said I should blow on it to get rid of the dirt. So there we go. I'll give it a go. There you are. Now, isn't that tiny? I mean, what would you buckle that on that with? That? You know what I mean. Why would you? How would you? When would you? Why would you? You use a buckle that size. It's my new... It's a shoe buckly thing. It's like that little shoe buckly thing. Maybe it was a doll. A bit of doll shoe buckle. Maybe. Could be. Because that's not, that's not a practical size, is it? No, it's not. So that's a pretty fab find. A ridiculously small shoe buckle. 90 is now 44. It's probably going to be a bit of a aluminum, but we'll find out in a few seconds, maybe. Hold on, let me let me help you here with my big orange pinpointer at the back there. Oh, yeah. It ain't aluminum and aluminum, but it's a piece of crud. Yeah. Oh, never mind. At least, I, oh, <laughs> at least I got to say aluminum and aluminum and aluminum, num, didn't I? Bryce just dug the hole for me, knowing that I'm on my last legs, probably on my last leg, <laughs> and it's in here because we got it out. I found it. He got it out the hole, and I'm going to locate it. Team play. Ha ha ha! to our tense on teams. We know this one. Great way to end the day. Thank you, Bryce. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I was just saying to Bryce that it didn't seem like we'd been going long and it didn't seem like we'd found much. But actually we've been going for five hours and Bryce has found this and I've almost found as much as he's found. Yeah. So we've got all these coins here. Which one's the billion one? Uh, this one. That may be low grade silver. You've heard that from me a hundred yeah. times. Um, and here we have a, a little buckle. Yeah, the little one. Oh, we have the micro buckle. For micro. for a doll's shoe maybe, and then two others. That's a broken buckle, and that's a that's a strap end buckle. Got lots of and there's another half a buckle. The Roman brooch. It's a Roman fibula top, and I want to disappoint him by saying no, it's not because every time I find something marvelous, he says, "Oh no, that's <laughs> modern." Everybody knows that's a petrol cap, so I want to say that's that's just a petrol cap. But if you look here, there's a bit of decoration. Let me see if I can get the right. A little bit of decoration here. And a pin would have gone here, and there would have been a spring. And it would have gone through here, the metal that was made into the spring for the pin. Yeah. And the buckle would have come down here. So this is just the top of it. And I think that's, yeah, I, I, I think that's a, it's a 20th century reproduction. <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's not the real thing. <laughs> but no, that's, that's, that's a lovely Roman yeah. top of a fibula. And there was only one of them, which means we weren't on the graveyard. Uh, very nice. I haven't ever found a Roman fibula, not any bit of one ever, but Bryce has found two, so this is his second one. And a Roman hobnail, maybe, maybe a Roman hobnail. A hobnail, most likely.
I mean, they did put these things in leather and wood, and you see them in furniture, of course, but on their own, in a field, there's not much furniture to be seen. And, of course, people do and did and used to burn furniture in the fields in bon in, for bonfires and stuff. But that's quite possibly just a Roman hobnail. And there we are, there's some totality of it. Yeah. So that's three, six, seven, eight coins, mm -hmm. and then loads of seals, buttons, buckles. Yeah, buttons. And as we're on the... Oh, one of these. I've yeah. got one of these. I have one of these. Huh. Well, what do you know? And it's got an iron nail on it. So, okay, that might be something you put on a piece of wood, on a shield or something, on a scabbard. And, uh, huh, there you go. That's mine now. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, and the top of a purse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Top of a purse. Where's the rest of the purse? How can you only find a little bit of it? Must I be the rest know. of it. Must be yeah, there. So you see that, you know, that's the bit where it clicks shut, you know, click. That's that bit there. So that might even be silver. Unlikely, even though I just found one that was silver like this. Most likely copper. But that would have been part of a purse. And of course, the purse would have had coins, didn't it? Yeah, where's the rest of it? But you find a purse, like I did a few days ago, didn't find any coins, didn't find anything in the purse nearby, which is, you know, only goes to show you that most of this stuff would be too deep for you to actually catch, which is why you can keep coming back and find more. Well, Bryce, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. I'm completely out of energy altogether. I might have to get call out the Automobile Association to tow me home. <laughs> But we are done. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am done. <laughs> me too. I'm done, and I'm carrying an extra sixty pounds of lard, sixty well thirty kilos of lard. You see, so that's why I'm completely burnt out now. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like. You know you want to deep down inside. See you again soon. Bye now.